of the Cafadian Society, Andrei Tarkovsky. The Japanese ninja introduced himself. He was an S-rank hunter in the Michimoto Sakio Japanese Hunter Association. Sakio slowly walked over. He immediately got to the point, according to his knowledge. You know that vampires can sense if their companions nearby are killed. So you suggest everyone quickly leave here. The clock magician spoke up to explain. He told everyone not to worry. Regarding this matter, you have already set up a barrier so they cannot come here. He then introduced himself as David Taylor. Sakio knew this person. David was the person known as the number one in the magic tower. Next, there was Sun Yun's introduction. He told everyone, you are Han Sung Yoon, a C-rank hunter from Korea. David had heard the name Han Sung Yoon on the 13th floor from the administrators. Even weak vampires can easily defeat a C-rank hunter, and the strongest vampire has the same ability as an S-rank hunter. It can regenerate itself, so it is difficult to kill them. Everyone worked together to make a plan to deal with the vampires, they would do as the tower protected. They will protect the hidden monks and receive their help to defeat this trial. But the main problem is that vampires are present all over the city. How do they get into the city if going in directly is too dangerous? With his extensive combat experience, David proposed a plan. First, Sakio would use his stealth skills to gather a small group. He will help erase the traces by using a barrier. Then, they could eliminate them while hunting in groups in one go. If everything went according to plan, they could very well clear the 33rd floor in 10 days. Sun Yun stood in a corner thinking, you can't let the trial end in 10 days. If you're that slow, you won't be able to receive the extra reward. Sun Yun slowly walked over, then he spoke up and said, everyone, I think there's a bit of a mistake here. But such a plan is not good. David frowned at him, if the plan he proposed is not good, then which one is better? Sun Yun said the word spuik, no one can understand your words. Please say it again. Sun Yun picked up the sword, he knocked on the door behind him. Behind him was a legion of vampires that he controlled hanging above the vampires' heads. We can pass through the Tower of Trials only if we keep quiet and act now. Now let's finish this group. When the vampires saw humans, they became extremely aggressive and just wanted to pounce on them and devour them. Sun Yun's teammates were extremely confused. They don't understand why Sun Yun did that. Is he tired of living? Sun Yun excitedly told them, let's start the Spuik plan. The vampire crowd had also rushed forward. A vampire just swung his sword to attack Tarkovsky, and Sakyu immediately disappeared. The vampires reminded each other that their opponents knew how to use magic. Just now, David quickly used his magic to save Tarkovsky and Sakyu. He told you, it will be difficult to maintain this stealth for a long time. David was extremely angry at Sun Yun's actions. Why would Sun Yun be so reckless when doing such a team challenge? Sun Yun is now alone facing the vampires. They joined forces to surround and attack Sun Yun. Sun Yun looked at the way the vampires attacked with great surprise, but neither did the vampires simple as you thought. The time for vampires to attack him is over. Next, he will show them what strength is. He manipulated his whole blood into arrows. Sakyu curiously turned around to look at Sung Yoon. His face suddenly turned surprised. He pointed at Sung Yoon, loudly calling everyone to follow him. Sung Yoon has now activated the blood research skill. All are pointing towards the predetermined target. The vampires saw that Sung Yoon had the ability to dominate blood and were extremely surprised. His ability to dominate blood was even higher than theirs. Sun Yun waved his hand and his blood arrow immediately shot out, piercing straight into the bodies of the vampires. Sun Yun right now is like a monster. David couldn't believe it, such a brutal way could kill someone, or was it just because David was weak? David Taylor is a powerful great magician, he has fought on the front lines for a long time and is also a very intelligent person. Even in the trial tower, with his superior strategy, he always achieved good results and also completed many levels of trials to become a high-level fighter. As always, on the 13th level of trial, he had to come up with a clear strategy using his acumen and there couldn't have been a more effective plan. But everything was destroyed by Sun Yun by his own Spuik plan. Sun Yun single-handedly wiped out the vampires.
Teammates looked at Sung Yoon with wandering eyes. Is Sung Yoon really human? Why would anyone act so cruelly? Tarkovsky turned his head and said to David, Since we've come to this point, we have to forget the plan. It's best to support Sung Yoon, right? When Tarkovsky and Sakia wanted to rush in, David asked them to wait a bit. He also knew that Sung Yoon was strangely strong. However, the vampires were present all over this city and only one person could not destroy them all. While we had many hunters as strong as monsters before the tower appeared, why did group hunting develop and become popular? Because it doesn't matter how strong we are, in close combat, we can't face events alone, right? After listening to David's analysis, the expressions on Tarkovsky and Sakio's faces changed again. Meanwhile, Sung Yoon, while fighting, was not careful enough to make himself a hostage of the vampires. They joined forces together, holding Sung Yoon's arms and legs tightly. The remaining vampires take turns running with their weapons, they will take advantage of this opportunity to finish off Sung Yoon. Sung Yoon's face showed no fear, he just frowned together. He concentrated his breath into his arms, and his arms immediately expanded. The vampires surrounding him were immediately thrown away. Sung Yoon's arms were full of energy, he would seriously fight them, the blood and ashes skill was activated by him. Sung Yoon looked at his arm, if he kept using this method to fight, he might have to use recovery items. Although body explosion is a good skill for Sung Yoon, it costs a lot of money. The vampires were affected by Sung Yoon's skills, they lost an arm, their bodies were in extreme pain, they couldn't believe that such a normal person could do these things. One guy angrily told Sung Yoon, how could a normal person do that? Touching the power that the god of war has given us. At that moment, from within the crowd of vampires, a trembling vampire hugged his body, muttering, What? Disciple, this is a disciple, the god who protects humanity has sent a disciple. The gods are angry because we killed everyone in this city. God of war, please grant your followers salvation. Just a few meaningless sentences made the minds of these vampires extremely confused. Sun Yun frowned at them, he didn't understand what they were saying. What, my disciple, are vampires' characteristics an illusion? Another tall, muscular vampire appeared. He hit the person who spread the dirty rumors hard on the head, then pointed straight at Sung Yoon's face. Look closely, he's panting. The vampires became excited again, Sung Yoon's breathing meant he was tired, they would be more likely to win. They once again proactively rushed to attack Sung Yoon. Sung Yoon really has no choice but to deal with them. Why do they keep forcing him to be cruel to them? Sun Yoon uses the souls he has collected to create medicinal pills. He chewed them leaking in his mouth, his stamina quickly restored. He was so excited that he asked them if they were good enough to jump in. The vampire's spirits immediately faltered. The aura emanating from Sun Yoon's body truly made people scared. The vampires who didn't know whether to live or die actively attacked him and were reincarnated by him and received boxed lunches. His teammates were just standing on the side watching how Sung Yoon fought. Sakyu finally understood why Sung Yoon ranked number one in the world. Tukowski didn't even see Sung Yoon's tired expression. Tukowski and Sakyu also decided to give Sung Yoon a helping hand. Sung Yoon continued to use all his remaining souls to replenish his stamina. The strength stats, spirit rings, increased by 2, endurance increased by 4 and magic power increased by 5. The growth of the stats made Sung Yoon extremely satisfied, it was even better than when he absorbed the soul of copies too. Sung Yoon gradually felt that this trial seemed interesting. If he killed all the vampires and absorbed them all, how strong would it be? The administrators contracted by Sung Yoon are also closely monitoring his performance. Their attitude towards Sung Yoon is also part of his plan. There's no harm in having a good admin impression. As soon as Sung Yoon's group walked in, he pouted and asked them, I thought you guys went to find the priest. To break this awkward atmosphere, Sakio hastily spoke up, We're sorry, from now on, we will listen to your opinion, so please leave the job. Until now they I've just discovered Spook's effects, is it too late? At that moment, Sung Yoon's sixth sense skill was activated. Behind him was a sea of blood. Sung Yoon looked back, an excited smile on his lips. Sakio asked them, 
what should we do? At this rate, death is a matter of time. Sun Yun looked at their appearance at this time, feeling a bit disappointed in his heart. The hunters he once admired were now just people who needed his protection. Sun Yun told the three of them, let's leave this place, find the priest and bring them here. Sun Yun did not give them any face, he directly said, if you guys stay, you will become my obstacle in this battle. Tarkovsky turned and left. He would listen to Sun Yun's words, even though he felt a bit uncomfortable because up until now Sun Yun had seen them as luggage. The four of them split into two directions. Sun Yun will stay here to deal with the vampires. The rest will go find the priest. Sun Yun activated the combat concentration skill. The user's concentration increased by five times and the authority of the heavenly blood cultivation technique was activated. The hematologist skill was strongly activated by Sung Yoon, he had the right to interfere with all blood control abilities within the skill area. In an ancient castle, a man with silver hair was extremely angry, he did not want to believe that an ordinary human dared to oppose him. He tried to maintain this city, but now it's all in ruins. The man was suddenly angry, he pointed his finger at Sung Yoon. His attack became more and more fierce. Sun Yun frowned, he had to admit he couldn't stop this attack. That man is the vampire Count Sel Nair. He didn't know when, he just fought and fought. Fighting seems to have become his life and like other aspiring people. When he finally regained consciousness, he was standing over countless corpses. And then, his desire reached the sky. The god of war chose Sel Nair to become his future junior. The greatest wish of the Sel Nair vampire species is to destroy the human inviolability of the major allied races. His race killed countless humans and destroyed three races to the point of four major allied races. The source of life has dyed blood red and conquered this last race. He was able to be acknowledged by the god of war as a true junior and reached the pinnacle by becoming the lord of the vampire race. However, everything did not go as he planned. He suddenly received news that his troops were being killed, more accurately, massacred by a human. Sel Nair was extremely angry. He had clearly taken care of all the warriors. Who the hell sent that person here to cause trouble? The butler was extremely scared. He didn't know how to answer Sel Nair. They just suddenly appeared. The two words suddenly made Sel Nair even more angry. The army under his control was suddenly massacred. Sel Nair puffed his cheeks. He shouted indignantly, how could they suddenly rush into the city and bypass us? Selnir's indignation made all his subordinates extremely scared, begging him to calm down. How can Selnir stay calm? He needs to level this entire city then can be recognized as a true junior. But now everything is destroyed by an ordinary human. He absolutely cannot ignore this matter. He pointed a finger down to where Sun Yun was standing. Sun Yun immediately realized that there was a huge source of power trying to attack him. The scale was even larger than he thought. Every drop of Sun Yun's sweat fell. He couldn't stop it anymore, then quickly ran away. He will temporarily ignore this city and go save his teammates first. Sun Yun quickly found their location. He created a giant shield. He flew up into the air, taking everyone's place in the incoming tsunami from Sel Nair. Sun Yun's shield is showing cracks, he told himself through gritted teeth, it just needs a little more. However, his shield was still broken, and he was hit by the tsunami. His whole body hit the rock below. The tsunami was weakened by Sun Yun, everyone was okay, they ran to Sun Yun's side to care for him. But the fun didn't last long when Sel Nair suddenly appeared. He was extremely surprised to see everyone still alive. He frowned and assessed the situation. Looking at Sun Yun's current appearance, Sel Nair thought that he was the weakest person in the group, and the others were key members. The group of people in front of him made Sel Nair extremely uncomfortable. He raised his voice as if he would tear them to pieces. Sun Yun quickly stood up, he asked everyone to step back, he would deal with him. The others immediately followed Sun Yun's words. If Sun Yun needs help, don't hesitate to tell them. Sel Nair ran after the three of them. He didn't want anyone to leave this place. Everyone had to pay the price for their actions. Sun Yun stood in front of him in a moment. He reminded him to be careful with what he wanted, and he would give it back to him like what he had so loudly declared. He would tear him to pieces. After that, 
Sung Yoon proactively held the sword to attack his opponent. His teammates looked at him in surprise. He cut down Sel Nair with just one move. He suggested that everyone quickly go find the priests. Sakya was surprised. Sung Yoon had already killed the count. So why was he still looking for a priest? Sung Yoon asked everyone, don't you think it's strange? The ending notice for the 13th floor should have appeared, but now there is no movement. The fire dragon ice skill is activated. The body fragment of the vampire count Sel Nair with regeneration ability. He is currently recovering his body. But when everyone wanted to help him fight, Sung Yoon stopped him. He told them, he would kill him himself. So it didn't matter if it was a cleric or a relic. Just find that thing and bring it here. If Sung Yoon is so determined, everyone will follow his words. Sel Nier's body was restored and regenerated at the right time. He stood in front of Sung Yoon full of anger. Sung Yoon looked at his appearance. He silently affirmed that the healing and blood control skills he had were definitely better than all of his skills. But in terms of fighting ability, he was much superior to him. Sel Nair attacked Sung Yoon vigorously. Sung Yoon used both hands to shield himself. Every move he made that hit him created an explosion. He was extremely excited when he saw Sung Yoon's struggling appearance. But somehow, Sung Yoon was standing behind him. He smiled and told him that thanks to his son, he had learned a new skill. The light behind Sung Yoon flashed. Sel Nair screamed. Sung Yoon cut him into more pieces than before. What Sung Yoon was seeing before his eyes made him extremely surprised. If the whole city had become like that, it would be difficult for the priest to come back to life. Sel Nair continued to be revived. He stood tall in front of him. Sel Nair is extremely confident. He is sure Sung Yoon cannot do anything to him. Sung Yoon didn't care. He told him directly, I'm really curious how many times it takes to tear someone apart before it becomes a real new person. Sel Nair was extremely indignant when provoked by Sung Yoon. He raised his hand to the sky, aiming to kill Sung Yoon. Sung Yoon stepped forward. His whole body was immediately slashed into pieces by Sung Yoon's sword tip. Sel Nair let out a painful groan, then disappeared and was reborn again. An endless loop. But every time he revived, Sung Yoon cut him into pieces. This was the seventh time Sel Nair died and came back to life. Sel Nair's subsequent resurrections still had the same result. He was still chopped into pieces by Sung Yoon. Sung Yoon received the Combat Artist achievement, activating the D-Rank Torture Technique skill. Sel Nair continued to revive, but this time he no longer had the courage to confront Sung Yoon, so he quickly tried to escape. Sung Yoon in his eyes right now is like a monster. Sung Yoon was bored and didn't bother to say, didn't you say it from the beginning? It's too late for him to run away now. He took out his usual sword. You will make him repeat the words he once said. His face was cut in two by Sung Yoon. Sel Nair felt more and more afraid of Sung Yoon. He begged him to stop. He would do for him anything he asked. Sung Yoon didn't need anything from him. He continued to attack. Up to this point, 12 of his lives were under his blade. He received the initial achievement of madness. The D rank pain amplification skill was activated. Sel Nair cried. He kept begging Sun Yoon to stop. He couldn't bear this pain anymore. Sun Yoon originally wanted to blow away another one of his lives, but he suddenly remembered something. Then, waved and called him back like a small dog. Sel Nair immediately ran to Sun Yoon's side. Sun Yoon told him, There is only one way for you to escape your suffering. If you will cooperate, I will bless you with death. Sel Nair had no way to retreat now. He could only accept the offer from Sung Yoon, rather than let him chop it into pieces over and over again. Sung Yoon turned the counterattack shield into a counterattack scarecrow. He asked him to hit this thing until he asked to stop. Sel Nair quickly sat up and used all his strength to attack the scarecrow and counterattack. Sel Nair didn't understand why he had to fall into this situation. The more he thought about it, the more strange it felt. He also thought that Sung Yoon was a challenge sent to him by the gods. The more he thought about it, the more he felt it was right. From the beginning, Sung Yoon had the ability to dominate the bloodline because the vampires were so independent that they wanted to tighten discipline. And Sung Yoon is definitely the savior of the vampires who came to help them be more alert, 
Sun Yun's counterattack Scarecrow suddenly glowed. The counterattack shield skill can now counterattack against accumulated damage. Sun Yun stood up and had to thank Cell Nair for punching and fighting so enthusiastically. Now it's time for him to die. Cell Nair is surrounded by counterattack shield damage. Sun Yun also gave him an attack from the sword, which he launched directly at him. All damage accumulated in the counterattack shield skill will hit Cell Nair's body once. This is the only way for Sun Yun to evaporate him to the point where there is no meat left to regenerate. An extremely powerful attack came up. Cell Nair finally had to pay the price for his actions. Sun Yun completed the trial on the 13th floor of the tower. He received the same rewards as the system had previously provided. He received an A-plus random skill book reward. He received 90,000 points, 4,000 SXP. Not only that, but also receive an additional reward of 5,000 SXP. He was transferred to the waiting room of the 14th floor. Now, Sun Yun had absorbed the blood that Cell Nair had sucked. With the amount of blood consumed, if he targets and destroys a target with the Blood Demon Sword, Sun Yun can absorb the target's blood with the blade and increase the overall ability of the item as well as engrave a random skills. The ultimate skill of the Heavenly Demon Blood Sword that governs his blood was activated. By absorbing the blood of the vampire Count Cell Nair, Sun Yun's item rank increased to a level. Another skill that enhances blood level C plus has been put in a separate category for blood consumption. The specific section of blood consumption is described in depth. With this skill, Sun Yun can absorb from the vampire count. He can enhance the range of blood domination. The C plus level blood enhancement skill of the ultimate heavenly demon blood sword was activated. Sun Yun was surrounded by swords, as if he had become a vampire lord, he continued to absorb the spirit. The soul of the vampire count. Strength, flexibility, endurance, and stamina all increased by 5. Magic power increased by 7. Since Sun Yun had not yet grasped the divinity within the soul of the vampire count, the condition of divine authority was met. Reactions and abilities are activated, he achieves harnessing divinity. Successfully exploiting divinity, B-level holy power authority has increased in rank. As Sun Yun accumulates myths through B-class holy power authority, the rank will quickly increase. The condition for exploiting divinity is whether the soul can use divine energy or not. Lightning cannot actually take away divinity from normal vampires, perhaps it only applies to those with divine powers on par with him. The more Sun Yun thought about it, the more confused he felt. There were many things that were too difficult to understand. Every time he mentioned anything related to holy energy, he had a headache. He absorbed one of the vampire Count Cell Nier's skills, he received the C-rank charisma skill. But because he has absorbed a stronger soul, the process of the monk exploiting his authority will begin. Sun Yun showed an incomprehensible face, an enemy he couldn't fight, a strong enemy, but that was the standard of evaluation. In his mind, he had another thought. Souls related to gods or disciples were considered high class. Sun Yun also received a successful trial, confirming that the soul of the vampire Count Cell Nair had authority. Sun Yun is entitled to exploit the authority of the soul. The authority to collect the C plus level faith is engraved into the soul of user Han Sun Yun. At that moment, his teammates ran over and informed him that the clergy had used their authority to protect the people. There were still many more people alive than we thought. People in the city came out and continuously waved their hands to say thank you to Sun Yun. His system continued to show up. The faith gathering authority had felt strong faith in user Han Sun Yun. Sun Yun looked back from time to time. He couldn't believe it. These people were placing their trust in him. Sun Yun pondered again. So even if belief is sent through the mind, it will still be formed. I need to take advantage of this opportunity. Your time has come. Sun Yun continued to activate the C-level charisma skill. His recognition is growing and influencing others. The more everyone in the city shouted his name, the more he received the achievement of not cheating, his magic power increased by one. The faith gathering authority continued to be activated. The surrounding faith gathering, the holy power authority was strongly activated. The legendary estimate based on the actual results compared to the faith of the believers. Everyone unanimously called Sun Yun a legend, 
the system that made him a legendary vampire slayer was completed. Sun Yun enjoys the feeling of being praised by everyone. At that moment, the legendary skill Vampire Slayer was completed and activated. The irreversible effect will be tied to holy magic. The exorcism effect will be tied to holy magic. Sun Yun believes that he received this skill because he was the one who ended Cell Nier's reincarnation, so he received the recovery effect and the exorcism effect. Sun Yun finds this more and more interesting, so accumulating legends is like this. The faith he gathered paralleled the holy power. In the form of legends, new authorities were created within themselves. Sun Yun felt the holy energy that he had never used before being gradually released. It seemed like when he activated the legend, the holy energy in his heart would gradually decrease. Sun Yun's chest glowed, he thought that gathering everyone's faith like that was enough. The final challenge has been completed, everyone has no reason to continue to stay here. Sakio and Takatsuki waved goodbye to Sung Yoon. Before saying goodbye to Sung Yoon, David called him back. He had something to say to Sung Yoon. He wanted to apologize to him for misreading his abilities and considering him an idiot. Sung Yoon reached out and shook hands with him. He wouldn't accept things like this. At that moment, the system sent a notification that the God of War had realized that his future disciple had died. The God of War has sensed your existence. The god of war has sensed your holy power and is hostile. Sun Yun suddenly couldn't control his body. He automatically knelt down. In an instant, the quiet atmosphere was suddenly broken, the ground cracked, and the volcano sleeping deep inside the ground erupted. Sun Yun received a notification. You have arrived in the holy land. Sun Yun gritted his teeth and endured. He didn't understand what was going on. Why these things happened. The trial level had clearly ended. Sun Yun made a proposal to David, he asked him to shake hands again. Before David could accept the invitation, Sun Yun suddenly pulled him along with him, then threw him directly inside his teleportation door. In this place, only Sun Yun and the people in the city remain. He asked everyone to stand aside, he activated the counter-attack shield skill. The shield is created in a large area, people are protected by Sun Yun's shield and can temporarily protect their lives. David followed Sun Yun's push and slowly flew into the door. He hoped he could leave this place. On this side, Sun Yun takes turns controlling everyone to a safe place, otherwise he won't be able to hold out for long. Sun Yun pouted, he agreed to be here to help them, but they didn't bother to give him any more faith, he should just enter the link portal. The god of war sent him another message. The god of war felt disgusted at the fact that some ordinary people possessed divinity. Things didn't stop there. People's heads suddenly exploded in Sung Yoon's surprise. The god of war continued to tell him that the dog that the tower kept had crossed the limit. Sung Yoon's face immediately changed. He asked the god of war, you are the one who is exceeding the limit. Only I am still protected by the tower. If you dare to touch me, you will not be at peace, understand? Sun Yun turned his back and walked into the connection gate, he didn't bother with someone like him. Before Sun Yun left, he deliberately challenged Sun Yun, he would wait for the fate that would soon come for an ordinary person like Sun Yun. Sun Yun is extremely determined, he must become stronger, so that the gods will not despise him. He was taken to the 14th floor waiting room, the system was expanded. A series of product and pharmaceutical announcements were added to Sun Yun's exclusive store. After returning to the tower, Sun Yun sighed, he shouldn't have been provoked by something that he didn't even know was true or not. Sun Yun looked down, so he messed with a god again, what a headache. The Inquisitor's words immediately rang in his ears. He reminded him not to trust other gods, now they would consider him an enemy. Sun Yun told himself, he had to stop thinking about those things, otherwise he wouldn't be able to control his body. Next, he opened his own exclusive store, using 10,000 SXP to buy the S-Class Swordsman's Journey Authority. Next, Sun Yun walked into Bok Hak's bamboo forest. Bok Hak saw him and was extremely happy. She told him, I heard that woman say that you considered Nam Kung Man's child your enemy. She also guessed the reason Sung Yoon used SXP to buy his authority because of Nam Gung Hyuk. If Sung Yoon really bought her authority for that purpose, 
then she congratulated him on his correct choice. Because, in normal terms, Sung Yoon was a genius. Even when he was not yet enlightened, Sung Yoon had instinctively learned the forms of swordsmanship and they were beyond the scope of imitation. Furthermore, in the twelfth level of trial, Sung Yoon determined the sword's intention and even improved his swordsmanship to dual swords. Ba Kak thought Sung Yoon had skills from the master, so he was actually able to improve by learning part of the basic movements of Nam Kung Man. The master was also the first person to establish the sword sect. She told Sung Yoon again because he made a wise choice with authority this time. Because now everything you learn and contemplate will be skills certified by the tower and she will teach you everything. However, she has one condition. Sung Yoon must worship the master. Sung Yoon immediately agreed that this was his choice, not just because Bak Hak forced him so Bak Hak did not have to say anything. Bak Hak reminds him, don't regret it later because in the martial arts world, Sung Yoon can only worship with one person. Before Bak Hak started accepting Sung Yoon as a disciple, she had something to introduce to him. She is the 17th Lord of the Beak family, the strongest martial artist in the previous generation, named Beak Selwa. Sung Yoon immediately knelt down and bowed to her. Immediately after that, Selwa briefly explained the basic knowledge to Sung Yoon. But he still had some questions, he asked her, would it be okay if I had another star jutsu? Selwa's attitude immediately changed. She urgently asked Sung Yoon, Do you have another star technique? Sung Yoon explained to her, After listening to my explanation, Do you think you know there is something that needs to be like star magic? Selwa became even more urgent. She asked him urgently, Did you learn how to control Anra from iron blood? Sung Yoon immediately shook his head. The person who taught him was not her. Theot Huyat is not someone who breaks promises like that. She doesn't trust Theot Huyat, just let her check it herself. The white crane proactively took off Sun Yoon's shirt, making Sun Yoon extremely awkward. The white crane suddenly picked up Sun Yoon's shirt to check. She asked Sun Yun to be quiet for a bit. Then, she told him, when I remove pure magic power, there is no trace of someone who has learned mind magic. Sun Yoon doesn't know what to say. The high blood technique is actually a special skill sponsored by an administrator known as the fallen heir of something or someone from the 12th floor. And Sun Yoon used it quite often because it enhanced his combat senses when he activated the high blood technique. Bak Hak really had a headache with Sun Yoon's thoughts about the above blood technique. She explained to him that it was power, not mind magic. On the other hand, it seemed like the mind techniques Sun Yoon had learned over the past time had merged into special skills, but it couldn't be called mind methods anyway. The white crane suddenly realized that there was something wrong with her and Sun Yoon's current appearance. She blushed and quickly ran away. She embarrassedly told him that she didn't mean it, but right after that, her body suddenly emitted a terrifying murderous aura. She said sternly to Sun Yoon, but I still don't like the fact that a mongrel dog of the blood sect would sponsor such a lowly mind magic as a special skill. Master Sung Yoon's first training session also began. Bak Hak wanted to remind Sung Yoon that it would be better if he didn't learn mind magic. Sung Yoon can collect magic without mind magic and if he learns a large number of mind magic with different powers, then he can definitely use them all the time. White Crane's words made Sung Yoon extremely confused. He carefully asked her, are you okay? Bak Hak assured him that it would be okay because her martial arts did not depend too much on mental magic. However, mental dharma is a very important thing for the teacher-disciple relationship, so what happened just might not need to be mentioned. First, the white crane will teach you swordsmanship. Sun Yun immediately activated the combat concentration skill. His ability to concentrate increased ten times. The white crane began performing swordsmanship. The sword movements were extremely decisive, completely different from his usual gentle appearance. And now, Bak Hak will show Sun Yun the most basic things of the seven-move white sword, the white sword that cuts the sea. The white crane's blade escaped and appeared before Sun Yun's eyes. The sword moved extremely gently, but created extremely powerful damage. The white crane landed on the ground, she tried to do it as slowly as possible. If Sun Yun couldn't see clearly, she could only apologize to him. Sun Yun walked over, he told her, he was fine, 
Now he would start the simulation again. Sun Yun swung his sword out. He closed his eyes to feel the breath of the sword. It felt like space itself was something that could not be avoided. So the only way was to pull it closer and cut it. Sun Yun's blade began to move. One sword swing out. Another sword swing out. The bamboo forest behind him tilted with every movement he made. Sun Yun turned his head and said to Bok Hak. He tried to simulate the situation. What do you think? Bok Hak looked at Sun Yun in surprise. She couldn't believe that Sun Yun could learn so quickly. This was really absurd. Sun Yun only needs to look once to be able to simulate the room to this extent. Bok Hak regained her composure. She said to Sun Yun. It seems like you don't understand how wonderful it is. The seven-move white sword is a martial art that uses more complex principles than the sword technique that Nam Gung Hyuk uses. Bok Hak also told Sung Yoon that the two moves he copied from the Nam Gung Hyuk style, the Clear Sky Light Sword and the Clear Sky Martial Sword are part of the Clear Sky Sword technique. Not to mention that it surpassed the basic principles such as fast and slow that sword magic used and was said to be a magic that used complex principles to self-adjust space. But Sun Yun was able to instantly copy the white sword and see without any problems with just one observation, and it was no different from when Bok Hak showed him the crime. Sun Yun's expression stopped as the words Bok Hak was saying were no different from saying that the principles of fast and slow were nothing to him. In Bok Hak's eyes at this time, Sun Yun is a genius with a sharp intuition. She had never seen anyone who could learn skills just by looking. Most had to go through experience and self-assessment. Sun Yun pouted at her. Even if she said that, he still didn't quite understand what Bok Hak meant. Bok Hak pointed straight at Sun Yun's face. She assured him that one day, he would be able to learn a large number of martial arts in the world. Normally, martial arts must be understood and recreated with a technique that plays a fundamental role. However, for Sun Yun, there is no need for any secret tips, because he only needs to look at it to be able to simulate everything. But, Bok Hak will also help you know how to use magic power. Bodywork, boxing, attack and even shooting, Sun Yun will learn everything he can learn. And the most useful thing among them is swordsmanship with the technique Bok Kiam 7 Shu. White sword slashes the sea, holds space and cuts it off making it impossible for the opponent to avoid, White Sword Quan Vong. Extremely powerful stabbing technique that can penetrate any defense. White Sword Crush the Void, a defensive skill that distorts the surrounding space. In the following days, Sun Yun, thanks to Bok Hak's help, learned many things. However, after finishing learning what he needed to learn, Sun Yun quickly bowed his head and said goodbye to Bok Hak. He told Bok Hak he would come back to see her later. Sun Yun walked into the waiting room on the 14th floor. He has now learned a lot, although it is a bit embarrassing that he cannot learn all seven techniques of the seven-stroke white sword because his current level does not allow it. Sun Yun simultaneously received the B-plus level Demon Slayer skill. Although now, his swordsmanship has improved a lot, but compared to Nam Gong Hyuk's Taunt Thien sword technique and Bok Hak's seventh sword, he still has many shortcomings. So, Sun Yun will create skills using power. Sun Yun opened the detailed information description of the Sword King to check. Next, he activated the Iron Blood Sword, activating combat focus. Holding two swords in both hands, Sun Yun began to train himself. Using the Tan Thien Sword technique and the seventh form White Sword as a double sword, it helped him become more perfect than ever. But if he wanted to develop it into a skill, there were still many shortcomings. Bok Hak once told him that to develop a skill, it needs to be a launch system recognized as a skill. Sun Yun came to a decision. He used the seventh form white sword as the foundation and when he wanted, he could combine it with the Tan Thien sword technique. Attacking with two swords is an excellent defensive technique. With his thoughts, Sun Yun activated the path of the King of Swords the A-level swordsmanship skill, activated. Even Sun Yun didn't expect this. Sun Yun continued to read the inventory command. He took out the A-plus level random skill book, which was also the reward on the 13th floor. Sun Yun just opened the book. The A-plus level random skill book was obtained. Random skill level B-plus. The hero's blessing power is activated. 
Sun Yun's luck will temporarily increase, the Blood Spirit Demon Sword skill is activated. After that, a series of powers and skills are activated. Sun Yun demonstrated a new skill, the S-rank Demonic Sword Dissipation skill manifested. Sun Yun then also entered the 14th level trial. The trial topic is called Underwater Battle. The condition is to pass the trial, hunting all monsters below the lake within a specified time period. Sun Yun had just entered the teleportation door when he received a notification. His mortal enemy is also present here. As soon as the two of them met, they immediately embraced each other. Nam Gung Hyuk was no ordinary person. He immediately responded to Sun Yun's skills with a fire sword. Nam Gung Hyuk's face suddenly became confused, not understanding why Sun Yun had this move. Sun Yun now and the Sun Yun he met before are completely on a different level. He confidently told Nam Gung Hyuk that good drama is still behind him. Sun Yun used dual swords to fight Nam Gung Hyuk. The two swords in Sun Yun's hands create an extremely large force, but still do not cause Nam Gung Hyuk to be greatly affected. Sun Yun immediately thought of another way, he swung his legs out and kicked him into the cliff. Nam Gung Hyuk immediately took advantage of the cliff to continue rushing towards Sun Yun. But at that moment, Sun Yun's three sword slashes were blazing when the attack came. An explosion immediately erupted, rocks and soil flying everywhere. Nam Gung Hyuk quickly used the sword as a shield, protecting him from Sun Yun's fatal attack. Sun Yun confidently asked Nam Gung Hyuk, see how the S-rank swordsmanship skill I just showed off. Sun Yun silently activated the demonic sword technique and double strike. Sun Yun only needs to fire two to three more beams of sword energy to attack at the same time to turn the situation around. Sun Yun now deliberately teased the bloody scratch on his face. This will also be the scratch that will torment him to death. Nam Gung Hyuk poured his breath into his fingertips. Just relying on this scratch, he dared to say these words to him was truly too funny. Having finished speaking, he proactively rushed to attack Sun Yun. He attacked Sun Yun vigorously. Sun Yun now just bought time by blocking the attack. Nam Gung Hyuk looked at the way Sun Yun attacked him. He confirmed that all the things Sun Yun was using belonged to martial arts. He wondered even more why Sun Yun knew these things and why he hid his martial arts skills before. Sun Yun performed a series of slashes. He told him, he didn't hide it because he was afraid he would die at Nam Gung Hyuk's hands so he learned it. He intentionally informed Nam Gung Hyuk that he had learned all of these things throughout the day. Nam Gung Hyuk was extremely indignant. He didn't believe what Sun Yun said. How could one person learn these things in one day? It was really nonsense and crazy. He attacked Sun Yun even more fiercely. Sun Yun touched his two swords together, blocking his attack. He didn't care if he believed it or not. But someone told him that he was a martial arts genius. Sun Yun and Nam Gung Hyuk once again rushed at each other like two moths, shoulder to shoulder. Eye to eye. He and I were strangers, like we had never met each other. Sun Yun deliberately applied wax to Nam Gung Hyuk's head. He told him, he could do more than that. Sun Yun continued to attack him. The sword technique Sun Yun used made him unable to block. Nam Gung Hyuk seemed to have recognized Sun Yun's swordsmanship. He clenched his fists, unable to bear it. Why did Sun Yun dare to secretly learn swordsmanship from the Nam Gung Hyuk family? Sun Yun showed an extremely satisfied expression. Instead of blaming him, he should have blamed himself for not making the swordsmanship more difficult to learn so that others could easily copy it. Sun Yun just watched him do it once, he already learned. Sun Yun's words were like an invisible knife stabbing straight into his self-esteem. He was furious and rushed at Sun Yun with his life. All of Nam Gung Hyuk's movements have now changed. Sun Yun chuckled inside. Perhaps Nam Gung Hyuk did not expect that he was teaching Sun Yun an advanced lesson. In complete contrast to Nam Gung Hyuk's attitude, Sun Yun was extremely relaxed. He seemed to be playing with Nam Gung Hyuk's sword swings. Sun Yun smiled at him. He will learn it well to teach Nam Gung Hyuk a lesson later. Nam Gung Hyuk stretched out his hands. He absorbed the energy of heaven and earth. He summoned a whole warehouse of sword energy from the sky. Giant swords crashed into the ground, surrounding him and Sun Yun. 
What Nam Gung Hyuk was performing was powerful fighting skills. The characteristic of strong combat is to create a combat territory within a radius of 30 meters. Everyone, except Sung Yoon and Nam Gung Hyuk, is banned from entering the fighting area. Nam Gung Hyuk had not yet enjoyed the joy of capturing Sung Yoon when Sung Yoon activated the blood ashes. You control the blood to fly. You will teach him how to beat his back with a stick. Nam Gung Hyuk frowned and frowned. Why did Sung Yoon dare to do things like this? Having learned martial arts and even using magic. Nam Gung Hyuk screamed in pain. He was continuously slashed by Sung Yoon's blood streaks across his body. When he wanted to jump high to escape, he was stopped by his own trap. Nam Gung Hyuk is forcibly breaking the characteristics of strong fighting. Sun Yoon suddenly appeared behind him, giving him a new surprise. He kicked him down from above, a very painful fall. Sun Yoon landed in front of him. He wanted to know his current feelings. Have you ever thought that a martial arts genius like him would one day fall into a situation like today? Nam Gung Hyuk suddenly did not react, then raised his head to look at the sky with an extremely horrified face. He held his stomach and laughed so hard, it was so interesting. I don't know how you did it, but in just a short period of time, you learned this type of martial arts and became so strong, it makes me so happy. Nam Gung Hyuk took out a stone. Sun Yoon immediately understood what he meant. He quickly ran over, wanting to destroy this thing. Sun Yoon launched a sword from a distance but was still one step slower than him. He promptly activated the stone to erase the challenge penalty, and a cold wind blew. Nam Gung Hyuk slowly walked forward, he seemed to become a different person. He raised his sword high, he would show Sun Yoon why everyone called him Tan Thien Dragon Sword. Sun Yoon really didn't expect this. Every drop of his sweat fell, could he have avoided this? Nam Gung Hyuk absorbed the essence of heaven and earth, he delivered a heavy blow to Sun Yoon. Bak Hak's lesson that day still echoed in his mind. She told Sun Yoon about how to use Ki, or alternatively, how to use magic to enchant his sword. Sword energy is a technique that adds characteristics depending on the type of sword. For example, fire magic is an attribute that Sun Yoon can add to one of the sword characteristics. But that is only the first step. And enhancing sword energy is the next stage. A type of ultimate skill that can allow users to flexibly use different elemental magics around them to apply in attacks. Nam Gung Hyuk at this time could have used sword energy in his attack to deal with Sun Yoon. Sun Yoon moves so fast, if he hits his moves directly, he will only die. This technique is truly crazy. The sword energy slashed from Nam Gung Hyuk more and more continuously, making it extremely difficult for Sun Yoon to approach him, not to mention the flexible movement ability of the enhanced sword energy. It was as if the sword turned into a living dragon with a soul. Nam Gung Hyuk's sword energy continued to fly. Sun Yoon seemed to have no way to escape, he had to directly stop it. Sun Yoon had to use two swords to destroy one of its swords, but the consequences were extremely severe. He was still repelled by his attack. Sun Yoon felt nervous at this point, he thought at best that Nam Gung Hyuk was stronger than the blood relative. But who knew he was so strong? Nam Gung Hyuk can not only use sword energy but can also deploy sword energy. Sung Yoon felt it when listening to Master Bak Hak's teachings. But he still felt like martial artists had missed this crucial stage. Maybe in the process of enlightenment they encountered many difficulties so they did not realize it. This time, it was Nam Gung Hyuk's turn to show up. He pointed the sword at Sung Yoon's face and asked him, Where is your aura from before? Sun Yun now feels regretful, from the beginning he should have used all his strength to finish him off, then things wouldn't have lasted until now. Sun Yun could only activate the upper blood technique. His body emitted a terrifying aura, he gritted his teeth and told him to wait to die. Sun Yun's attitude made Nam Gung Hyuk extremely interested, he rushed to attack him, he also rushed to attack him, the battle was life or death. Nam Gung Hyuk uses white extract of the void to attack. Sun Yun leaned to the side to defend, luckily escaping Nam Gung Hyuk's death side. Sun Yun's movements made him even angrier. He loudly asked Sun Yun, are you going to secretly learn swordsmanship somewhere else? All of your efforts are useless in front of sword energy. Just my enhancement.
Nam Gung Hyuk's attack now seemed to turn into a monster pouncing on Sung Yoon. Sung Yoon immediately activates the combat concentration skill. The player's concentration increases to 20 tenths. Sung Yoon moved quickly, appearing behind Nam Gung Hyuk in an instant. Sung Yoon felt the opportunity had come. He was still standing behind Nam Gung Hyuk and immediately pointed the tip of his sword towards him. Sun Yoon's attack collided with his defense. His attack had the opposite effect. He was pushed back. Not only that, but he was also pinned to the ground. Blood flowed from his mouth. His internal energy was in chaos. At that moment, he felt danger from behind again. Sun Yoon quickly stood up. He quickly moved. Nam Gung Hyuk kept attacking, leaving Sun Yoon with no breathing room. He just dodged and dodged. Sun Yoon wondered to himself. Did the enhanced sword energy he had just used blend into the void? Sun Yun hastily activated his enthusiasm ability. Nam Gung Hyuk's sword continued to fly, hitting Sun Yun's leg, and a stream of red syrup flowed out. Sun Yun wanted to jump back and attack him, but he kicked him out. Sun Yun flew a thousand meters away. His whole back hit the stone wall. Sun Yun's syrup continued to come out. Nam Gung Hyuk still refuses to let go of Sun Yun. He rushed after him. He would cause the match to end here with Sung Yoon's death. Sung Yoon was in extreme pain. At that moment the light on Sung Yoon's body emitted. His tailcoat was destroyed. Nam Gung Hyuk was extremely surprised when he saw Sung Yoon alive. He loudly asked him, Are you still alive? Sung Yoon held two swords in his hands, panting and looking at him. Nam Gung Hyuk arrogantly told him, I was also a bit surprised. I didn't expect that someone could fight with me until this moment. But, now it's over. The moment Nam Gung Hyuk has been waiting for has finally come. He sends Sun Yoon to hell. Sun Yoon tried to stand up. He had come to this point and could not give up and surrender to fate. He gritted his teeth and told him, after all the efforts to reach this level of strength, do you think I would be killed so easily? Sun Yoon activates the counterattack shield skill releasing all accumulated damage. He focused all his damage on Nam Gung Hyuk. Nam Gung Hyuk smirked. He held out his sword, then rushed straight towards Sung Yoon. It seemed like his attack had no effect on him. On the contrary, his sword stabbed back into his throat. The expression on Sung Yoon's face made him extremely excited. It was that face. He strongly swiped the blade on Sung Yoon's neck, and Sung Yoon's head flew out. Thinking that Sun Yoon had already died when he got here, he suddenly remembered that he had a special skill that he hadn't used yet. The dying skill is activated. The skill negates all critical damage that endangers life. All senses are amplified in a short period of time and all skills will have maximum proficiency. The wounds on Sun Yoon's body healed, and his head returned to his neck. Sun Yoon regained his life from the hands of death, thinking he was already dead. In addition, Sung Yoon also received another bonus in the 12th floor challenge. Ancient King's Ash Crown, Level A, activated. When using the Ancient King's Crown, the user's mind will be blurred, and the power of the mind from the stone will be activated at the same time. Now you can go all in with him. The Ancient King's Crown skill is activated. When equipped, the user's mind becomes unstable and the crown will quickly disappear by the minute. In return, you can use magic at will until the crown disappears completely. Sun Yoon recited the spell, ordering his servants to kill Nam Gung Hyuk. Sun Yoon once again angered Nam Gung Hyuk. Nam Gung Hyuk gritted his teeth. He didn't expect Sun Yoon to have necromancy, but don't think that can defeat him. The souls controlled by Sun Yoon rushed forward, attacking him in a rush. He just turned around, and the souls were immediately swept away by his tornado. Nam Gung Hyuk continued to rush towards Sung Yoon, he forcefully strangled him. When the tip of his sword wanted to get close to him, the distance was only an inch away, his movements immediately stopped. Nam Gung Hyuk didn't understand what was happening to him. He gritted his teeth and asked Sung Yoon, My body, what did you do to me? Sung Yoon held his wrist tightly, What do you want to do to him and he still has to ask why? Sung Yoon knocked Nam Gung Hyuk to the ground. He answered him in annoyance, I told you that that scar will haunt you for the rest of your life. Nam Gung Hyuk was stunned, he just heard what Sung Yoon said. 
At that moment, he heard a growl behind him. A monster appeared from behind, then grabbed his body. When Nam Gung Hyuk was very young, his father pointed it straight at him and loudly asked if his mother was really his blood relative. Nam Gung Hyuk didn't care, he sat in a corner and thought far away, he simply liked swinging his sword. Nam Gung Hyuk was swinging his sword in the forest. He accidentally met a man, that was also the first time he met his grandfather. After that, he was raised by his grandfather, a top swordsman at that time. Therefore, his swordsmanship became more and more explosive. Time passed like the wind, when Nam Gung Hyuk was old enough, he brought the heads in front of his father. He arrogantly told him that he had already corrected all the bastards who pretended to come and play. He only hoped that at that time he would receive recognition of his true strength from his father, but what he received was only a cold sentence from him. He asked him to throw all of these things away, and blamed him for why he kept killing. Why didn't he spend some energy cultivating his mind? Nam Gung Hyuk was extremely angry at that time. His demonic spirit grew stronger and stronger. Returning to Sung Yun, he had exhausted all the resistance of the ancient emperor's crown of ashes. The crown of ashes was destroyed. The monsters he summoned also followed suit and dissolved into the water. Sung Yun walked closer to Nam Gung Hyuk. He couldn't believe he still survived his attack. Nam Gung Hyuk suddenly asked Sung Yun to quickly finish him off. However, Sung Yun sat next to him and said, Isn't it very interesting? Normally, you and I would never meet, but we two people from two different dimensions are fighting like this. It's both difficult and painful, but the funny thing is that I even think this is interesting. Sung Yun once thought, if he and Nam Gung Hyuk were friends, the two of them could happily move forward together. But unfortunately, they are enemies. Nam Gung Hyuk laughed loudly at this time. He mocked Sung Yoon for being a weak bastard who climbed the tower and still had that thought. Nam Gung Hyuk will use his remaining strength to tell Sung Yoon a story. The reason he no longer climbed the tower and invaded this dimension was not just because he liked to kill people. After obtaining holy magic, Nam Gung Hyuk became the enemy of the god, and was even threatened with his life. The chosen ones inevitably had to use holy magic to fight. And then, they had to face the gods in the twilight form. He warned Sun Yun that sooner or later he would become like him, but if Sun Yun continued climbing the tower with that stupid spirit, even if he had holy power, Sun Yun would not be able to sense the gods of destruction. Where is my land? Sun Yun coldly said no. You will not let those things happen, those who destroy your roots will be destroyed by you. Sun Yun then activated the Bloodfoot Chaser skill, ending Nam Gung Hyuk's life. After completing the trial level challenge, Sun Yun received a plus level Wind Spirit Boots, he received 10,000 points, and received 4,000 SXP. In addition, because Sun Yun defeated a stronger fake challenge than announced, he will receive an additional reward, he will receive an additional 4,000 SXP. The reward is a plus level Heavenly Sword Breaking. Sun Yun now has enough physical elements to create myths. His holy magic power is strongly activated. The system is calculating myths based on actual results and the faith of believers. Sun Yun's chest glowed, he had a new myth. Sun Yun continues to absorb Nam Gung Hyuk's soul. Proficiency increased by 46%. Mastery of the unique attribute of necromancy reaches 100%. The unique attribute of soul enchantment has increased by one level. Sun Yun achieved level of necromancy. The effect of the blood-sucking magic sword was activated at the same time. He absorbed Nam Gung Hyuk's blood. Therefore, the items promoted to a level. Thanks to that, Sun Yun gained the skill of engraving and enhancing comprehension at a unique blood-sucking location. At that moment, Sun Yun received a text message from Theot Huyet. She said that she had a good armor that she wanted to give to Sung Yoon. Bok Hak also sent a message to Sung Yoon at the same time. She said that she had a contractor's fighting method that was more suitable for a martial artist's robe. The two of them were like that, making Sung Yoon sweat. He decided to go see Theot Huyet first. Theot Huyet gave him a necklace. She told him, this is a gift for you. When Sung Yoon applies some magic power to this bracelet, he will automatically have armor to wear. Sun Yun immediately put the IV on him. 
After that, he went to see Bok Hak. Bok Hak was extremely uncomfortable. She also thought Sung Yoon would come find her first. Who would have thought that Sung Yoon bowed his head and apologized to Bok Hak? Bok Hak suddenly made a suggestion. She wanted to help Sung Yoon cut his hair, which surprised Sung Yoon. Bok Hak didn't even have tools to cut his hair. Bok Hak slowly pulled out his sword. For her, just having the seven sword techniques is enough. Sung Yoon didn't even have a chance to refuse. Bok Hak used his sword to cut off Sung Yoon's messy hair. Sung Yoon appeared with a different appearance. He doesn't look too bad. After that, Bok Hak pushed Sung Yoon away again. She spoke to Sung Yoon in a shady way. Sung Yoon, this is an item that will make it easier for the person wearing the martial arts robe. She stood from afar, waving to wish Sung Yoon good luck, making Sung Yoon extremely confused. Not knowing what was wrong with her, Sung Yoon returned to the waiting room on the 15th floor. The system began to complete, the mission order opened. From now on Sung Yoon can receive some tasks from the administrator. Replacement missions for individual trials will be based on the administrator's profile. If completed, Sung Yoon can receive a reward from the administrator who assigned the task. However, Sung Yoon is only allowed to accept one mission per floor. Sung Yoon looked at the notice boards in front of him. Now he understood why the administrators treated him so well because they wanted him to do tasks for them. Sung Yoon currently has many things to do. First, you will look at the mythology you just received. It is a mythical warrior who challenges battle with an indomitable effect, bound to control divine power. When activating the indomitable effect, it is possible to exert maximum power in all circumstances. As for the reversal effect tied to divine force suppression, when activating the reversal effect, Sung Yoon receives more buffs than disadvantages in battle. Sung Yoon continued to test the unique attribute. However, the attribute description panel in front of him had nothing but detailed effect text, making Sung Yoon extremely confused. Sung Yoon didn't know either, he put his hand aside, just letting time answer. Next, Sung Yoon took out the A-plus grade heavenly sword to check. This is a sword when the sword's proficiency reaches its highest, the unique effect of sword sense will activate. At that time, it will be added a skill that is beneficial to the sword owner. That skill is always suitable for the current situation. The system continues to notify you that you have reached the realm of fusion with the sword. The unique effect of breaking the sky sword sense has been activated. You can turn the unique effect of a type of sword into your skill. Sun Yoon used sword sense to absorb more effects. He thought that, thanks to the sword feeling, he was able to learn three more skills. The system sent him a notification that the unique effect of the heaven-breaking sword and sword sense has been activated. You can turn the unique effect of a type of sword into your skill. The A-plus level heaven sword breaker skill has been completely absorbed. The remaining number of sword feelings is zero halves. Sun Yoon is extremely confident. He has now mastered the sky-breaking skill in sky-breaking sword, so he can use it anytime if needed. The tower continued to send a series of notifications to Sung Yoon. Because he absorbed Nam Gung Hyuk's ghost, his strength, agility, and resistance all increased by 4, magic power increased by 7, and stamina increased by 6. He continued to scroll through the inspection notice board. A message was sent to him from Beck Selwa from the 9th floor. He announced that tower climbers from another world had appeared. It was a fake tower climb that caused the massacre in London. The words that you will never be able to stop these gods from destroying the earth echoed in Sung Yoon's head. The massacre in London quickly became a concern for the whole world. The number of human and property losses was uncountable. That mysterious black ball grew larger and larger, and there was a high possibility that a second massacre would occur with a series of monsters appearing from there. The person who chaired the meeting spoke loudly to prevent that fierce disaster. We believe that all the hunters of Korea will join forces for the cause. One person present at the meeting did not understand why the Korean Hunter Association was so active. Did you guys stop the hunters from coming to solve the incident in Shinjuku before? The host simply explained that they did it because it was beneficial. At that moment, Sung Yoon appeared. All eyes turned to him. He proactively walked up to Ha Son and apologized to her for climbing the tower alone without telling her. 
She didn't blame Sun Yung, he told her now. She hopes that the two of them will treat each other as companions in the future. The president of the Korean Association suddenly loudly asked everyone, those here who volunteered to assist in the London Gate incident, please go this way to get on the transport. But when Sung Yoon signaled to go help London with Ha Son, she suddenly pulled him back. She led him to the rooftop, where many people were waiting for him. She told Sung Yoon that she also had some extra equipment while climbing the tower. She explained to Sung Yoon that she had learned the magic to control extra space. It was quite difficult to learn, but as long as she had someone to assist her, she could teleport there immediately. She and Sung Yoon stood in the magic circle, then she began to perform the skill. In just a blink of an eye, Sung Yoon and Ha Son were taken to London. London is currently in a state of hanging by a thread, magical monsters constantly appear. They were extremely aggressive, constantly rushing to attack the magicians protecting this place. The commander stopped the monster's invasion and ordered everyone to just focus on the gate. Because things will get worse if these creatures get inside the magic tower. The teenager with a mischievous face carefully observed the situation ahead. However, he did not pay attention to the monster lurking behind him. The beast suddenly rushed towards him, making him unable to react in time. The magic circle behind him suddenly glowed, and the monster, for some reason, fell unconscious on the ground. The young man turned his head to look. Sung Yoon and Ha Son had appeared in time. Ha Sien looked at the situation around him and said, What are these magical monsters? The young man bowed his head and apologized to the two of them. They had not yet prepared enough manpower. Sung Yoon and Ha Sien walked over together. He and she would help them. However, people here rejected Sung Yoon and Ha Sien. They told him and her, Just leave this place to them. Sun Yoon and Hassian just went to where everyone was standing and helped them. Sun Yoon and Hassian followed the young man just now, going down inside the base. The atmosphere inside was extremely oppressive, especially the attitude of the British magicians. David was extremely surprised when he saw Sun Yoon's appearance here. He didn't think he had a chance to meet Sun Yoon again. Sun Yoon also recognized him, he was the person he saved on the 13th floor. Based on what he just saw, Sung Yoon told everyone, so that giant black ball had a barrier that made it impossible to destroy when hundreds of magicians poured magic into it. He also asked David, before that, he almost succeeded in destroying it when it was still a small ball and could not absorb as much magic power as it does now. David just remained silent and did not answer him. He continued to talk, and then when the ball absorbed more magic power, it became larger. So no matter what you did, the ball would not be harmed, right? David lowered his head. Everything Sung Yoon said was completely true. Everyone present had eyes wide open and mouths wide open, unable to believe that David would give the chairman position to a strange man. David ignored how people looked at him. He didn't care. He just needed to save England. He understood exactly how strong the young man in front of him was. Sun Yoon now loudly declared that he would destroy that sphere. However, he has one condition. Everyone here must reward him with a worthy reward. Everyone here immediately protested, isn't this a bit too much for Sun Yoon? David could not decide on his own, he had to discuss this with other representatives. Sun Yoon knew full well that in this situation he could act without reward, but he had to get everything he could that was worth it to him. David rolled his eyes and looked out the window. He will give you a worthy reward, so please destroy this orb. Sun Yoon lightly touched the transmission chain, his fighting outfit immediately changed, he broke the door and rushed forward. He activated the A-plus level wind spirit comedy effect, flying in a straight line towards the ball. He calmly stood on the ball before everyone's surprised eyes. Sun Yoon was ready to fight. He activated his dual swords and activated the iron destruction skill.